This is one of the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche. Amuse Bouche? I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and buoys for you today and there's really no theme this week. It's just kind of all over the place. Um, I don't have a ton of favorites this week because I've been a little bit more lazy, a little bit more low maintenance with my makeup this week. Timothy's been off, so I just haven't been really like experimenting with makeup as much this week, but I do have some standouts that I really did love this week. So let's jump into it. So nothing on my nails this week, but as far as eyeshadows, I've pretty much been reaching for my Rainforest of the Sea palette from Tarte pretty much all week. And I wanted to kind of give you some thoughts, or my thoughts, I don't know about other people's thoughts, but my thoughts on this palette. I did do a like tutorial get ready with me, trying it sort of a video with this palette, but I hadn't played around with it a ton when I used, I think that was maybe my first time to use it when I filmed that video. So anyway, I have more thoughts now that I've used it more. So here are my thoughts. I've used this palette a ton this week. I've reached for it a lot. I keep reaching for it. Like even last week I reached for it too a little bit. Um, and I like it. I think it's a nice palette, but I don't know that it's necessarily a must have. These are a different formulatia, formulatia, mm-hmm. That's a nice made up word there. Formulation, formula, whatever of shadows from Tarte. So this is kind of different, which I really like the metallics, but something is kind of a little bit odd about the satins. I really noticed that in particular when I swatch them. So I don't want to swatch them right now. Check my Instagram for swatches of at least the two satins because when I swatch those, it starts to get a little bit of a hard pan, which I don't like. But when I use a brush, I don't notice that problem. Um, but the metallic shades don't do that. So I don't know. It's just kind of a little bit odd with the satins. But I mean, you can see it. It's a really nice palette. It's very nice quality. It really does create some beautiful looks. I keep grabbing for it, but I have a lot of neutral shadows, you know, and palettes that I really love. So I don't know, I guess kind of final thoughts. If you get this palette, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think you'll really enjoy it. But if it's not in your budget right now, or you just can't get your hands on it for some reason, I wouldn't be too upset about it because it's, I feel like there are other neutral palettes that are gonna come out in the future very soon. So I wouldn't fret about it too much. I do like this palette. I have been enjoying it. I'm glad I have it. I think it's cute packaging, but I don't think that it is a, oh my goodness, must have. One day on my eyes this week, I grabbed for one of my MAC pressed pigments to wear with my Rainforest of the Sea palette. This is in Blonde Streak. I love the MAC pressed pigments. I've talked about them a lot on my channel. They are just like glittery, metallic, amazingness like just look at that I don't even need to say anything you can just look at it for yourself it is gorgeous I have several of these and I love them I mean they're shimmery you know they are pretty glittery pretty shimmery but it's really finely milled so if you use them especially if you use them foiled so I always use max fix plus sometimes I'll use a glitter glue but usually fix plus does a trick if you use something like that it just like intensifies the color a little bit. Well, a lot, it intensifies it a lot. And it just makes it such a statement eye look. I love it. So I grabbed for some of the kind of like taupey shades. That's a pretty cool tone palette, the Rainforest of the Sea. Um, but I grabbed for some of the taupey shades and then put just a little bit of this on the inner corner of my eye, just kind of the inner half of my lid. And it just kind of like kicked it up a notch. So I love these. I have quite a few of them. I love them all, highly recommend them. Another MAC favorite this week for blush, my standout this week is Petal Power. This is one of the mineralized blushes from MAC. This is a pretty recent purchase for me and I love it. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. I do have like a peachy sort of a highlight with it. Um, I'm actually wearing Makeup Geek's Peachless, which I really like as a highlight, but, and it pairs really nicely with this blush. But Petal Power is just the most beautiful, glowy, warm, peachy pink. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. It reminds me a little bit of New Romance from MAC, but this one is darker and just kind of less peachy. It has more like warmth and more kind of like almost reddish tones to it, but it's beautiful. I love it. 
so gorgeous. I love the MAC Mineralized Blushes. I love MAC blushes in general. I think they're such nice quality. Um, the Mineralized Blushes, like even looking at it in the pan, it just has this kind of like angelic glow to it. Oh, it has that same glow on your skin. Love them. Hate the packaging. Makes me crazy every time I use them. But I think it looks pretty and the blush inside is beautiful. And then for lips this week, I have one very neutral color and a couple of kind of brownie shades. So I've been trying to kind of like rediscover things in my collection and just pull out old favorites that I know I really enjoy that I just haven't used in a while. And this is one of those products. This is one of the Rimmel Kate lipsticks. This is in 08. And this is just a gorgeous everyday kind of like pinky mauve neutral color. It is the your lips but better sort of a shade. It's beautiful, but it still gives your skin like your face some color um, because I have pretty, you know, pigmented lips. So when I wear more nude colors, it honestly ends up being more of a statement lip for me than something like this would be because this is getting closer to my natural lip color. It's a little bit darker, but um, towards that sort of, you know, it looks more like my lips. So it's just a beautiful shade. It's a creamy sort of a lipstick. It's really comfortable, not crazy long wearing, but I mean, just a comfor comfortable, nice, neutral lip color. As far as scent, these have that fakey plastic fruit sort of a smell, something like that. It's not a bad smell, but it's very kind of like fakey smelling, but it's nothing horrible. So I really do like these lipsticks, super affordable, and they have a lot of good colors. And for the brownie sort of shades, again, I reached for one of my Maybelline Creamy Mattes. I just love these, and I've been reaching for them more recently. I always love them, but I've actually been like grabbing them out of my collection and wearing them recently. So this one is in Nude Nuance. I really hadn't worn this one a ton. Like, I mean, I thought it was cool when I first got it, but I hadn't really worn it. And it's just a really pretty, kind of like brownie nude. It actually looks pretty close to 08. Hold on. Okay, never mind. Scratch that idea. 08 is way more pink, and Nude Nuance is definitely a brownie sort of a color. But isn't that cool? Like, it's just a cool color. It's like an edgy, 90 sort of shade. If you've wanted to kind of like try that sort of a color range, just that 90s grungy brown sort of a lip, and you haven't wanted to spend $25 on a lipstick or $30 on a lipstick. Go get this one, like $5.50 and you get to try it. You get that nice, really comfortable matte formula with the creamy mattes. So these are all awesome. But Nude Nuance is one that I really hadn't gotten a lot of use out of, but I really do love it. I think it's a beautiful color. And lastly, what I have on my lips right now, I love so much. This is one of the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche. Amuse Bouche? I don't know. Lipsticks, this is in Molasses. I got this in gratis from Sephora, and I'm really glad that I got Molasses because it's just a different color than I would have picked out for myself. It's just, I don't know, it's a cool brown color, but it's kind of like got some warmth to it, and I just really love it. It's just kind of like a chocolatey brown sort of a shade. You know, I ended up ordering another color. I got Saki? I think, I think I ordered Saki. Um, so, you know, I would have probably picked something like this, but this is a different sort of color and something that I don't have a lot of in my collection. So I'm really glad that I got molasses because it's different, it's unique, and I think it's beautiful. I really love this formula. It smells very citrusy. I did not like the scent of the original whatever they were called, cream lipsticks from Bite Beauty. I really did not like the scent of those. I know a lot of people do. I don't know what I did to my finger, but I like scratched myself somehow. Anyway, that's not cute. But um, I didn't like the scent of those. I like the scent of these. They're really creamy and comfortable on the lips, but I'm surprised at the wear time on them. Like even though they're really creamy and comfortable, they do stick around on your lips for several hours. Like I wore this at Sephora and it wore until I went and had a cream cheese danish, and then it kind of started to wear away, but before that, it was really sticking around, so I was just really impressed with the wear time of it. I like the packaging, I think it's cool looking, and it's just a really nice, 
comfortable formula of lipstick that really does perform so well. Alright guys, so that wraps up my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans. I will be at BeautyCon with Ashley and we're meeting up with Laura and Dana, several other friends. So we're just really excited about the weekend. So if you're going to be at BeautyCon Dallas, I would love to meet you. So come find me. I don't know where I'm going to be, but we will be around and we'll be posting on social media so you can kind of like figure out where we are because I don't know where we're going to be to be able to tell you right now, but we'll be somewhere at BeautyCon Dallas. So I would love to meet you. Yeah, let me know any questions that you have. Let me know what you've been loving this week. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!